Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So, you know, generally when we've, you know, hit max level, hit something like that, I've always sort of made a everything you should do once you hit the new cap or once this patch comes out, just everything new. Um, the one I did for retail when Shadowlands came out, everyone really, really seemed to enjoy that. So we're about three weeks in from launch, and I wanted to take the time to sort of sit down, show you guys everything, because I have been playing nonstop. I have like eight days played at level 70 already. It's kind of nuts. Um... And so I feel like I ha have enough information to make this video as detailed as I possibly can and make sure you guys sort of do all these things and so you don't have to, you know, double or triple back and just some obnoxious things that I ran into upon my path once I hit level 70. But anyway, let's get into the video. Um, first off, if you like this content, like everything I'm doing, please, please, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me so, so very much. Um... But anyway, let's get into it. So, upon hitting 70, probably the first thing that I would recommend doing, um, whether you leveled through dungeons, you leveled through questing, um, anything that you did, you're going to have reputations. Um, most of them will probably be honored, um, but it's super important that you get revered with um, the Consortium, Thralmar, Scenarian Expedition, Lower City, um, Shatar, and I believe that is it for those four. Um, there are a few other ones, such as the Violet Eye and other lower city reps, but and um, the Maghar. But you do not need to get uh, any more for that. The reasoning for this is we're going to go to our add-on a tune here, um, and it's to unlock heroics. So in order to do that, uh, Shattered Halls, Alcatraz. Um, Alcatraz is his own separate quest line to get the key for it, but getting just attuned to the heroics is very helpful. Um, and you can do this through quests, you can do this through probably the highest level dungeon of each tier. So for, um, Lower City, it's Shadow Labs. Um, for, uh, the Time Keepers, or Keepers of Time, that was one I forgot to mention. Um, it's Black Morass. Uh, Thralmar, it's going to be Shattered Halls. Sonarian, it's going to be Steam Vaults. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, Shatar, um, any of these actually work pretty well. Um, for Shatar, you can do any of those. And then you need to go to the Quartermaster, and you have to buy the key. Two of the keys are actually in, um, Shat, so it's pretty nice. You can get the Shatar and, um the lower city key here um thralmar and respectively honored hold if you are alliance is going to be in there for thralmar it's right outside the main building um and then for um the other one i'm trying to think where he is at a uh, scenarian is at um the scenarian refuge is the girl that is or it's not the it's he's by the forge over here so that's pretty much it for your tunes, where you're going to be heading, um, where you can find these quartermasters to get these keys. Um, and that's definitely something that I would recommend doing. Now, the next thing is getting attuned to the raids. So the biggest one is Karazhan. Um, you can start at 68. You can do this. I would strongly recommend you go to the Alcatraz part. Um, or Architraz. I keep calling it Alcatraz, but it's Architraz. Um, I'd recommend that you go here. Um to this point before you hit it if you are a druid actually you can go there and complete the entire attunement before you're even level 70 um that's just perks of being a druid because you're able to um have flight forms so you can actually go to arc um because they disabled all summoning um at that location so druids you, you luckily you can get it done before you even hit level and it rewards a lot of xp so i would definitely recommend doing karazhan um, and then if you are feeling ambitious after, say, you've hit the point where you have all these reputations, you're, you've gotten all your recipes, like you feel like you haven't done much, then that is when I would recommend that you can work on your Tempest Keep attunement. Now, I made a video covering this entire quest line, all of these things, what you have to do. Um, it is a very long one. It's probably the most ambitious and prestigious thing that you can get done right away. And then if you also do Serpent Shine Cavern, which is way easier, um, you just have to kill Gruul and Nightmane. Um, 
then you can um, get a cool title called Champion of the Naru um, and the, all these adult quests. Now, there was a funny bug that was happening with this. If you had done it early, it would uh, start to break. Um, and every time you would mount, kill a mob, pretty much do anything that changed anything in the game, it would reward the title. It was incredibly obnoxious. I only had to deal with it for one day. They literally hotfixed it the night after, so I was super, super happy about that. But it's just a weird, funky bug with that title. Um, another tunement you can do is Night Main. So after you've done Karazhan one time, um, you'll have an, um, you'll probably be honored with them, assuming you did the quest outside. Um, it's pretty easy to do those quest chains. Um, and then you just have to talk to a bunch of people, and then you'll have to run, um, her her Heroics. Um, you'll have to do, um, Sethic Halls and Shattered Halls, so both the Halls. And then you have to just walk around, talk to a few people, and then you can get attuned to Nightmane, which gives you this urn, and then you use that urn to summon Nightmane. Honestly, Nightmane's a pretty tough encounter. Uh, we wiped like four times on it. A lot of our of us was our first time doing it real, but you sort of just got to take your time. Uh, he hits really, really hard, so make sure your tank's geared, make sure he's ready, make sure your healers are paying attention, and watch your threat. Best advice I can give you for that one, because you can really, really uh, mess up quite a bit. But anyway, that's sort of getting your, you want to get your heroics attuned, you want to sort of form those gears, um, and then you also want to get all these raids attuned, I think that helps a lot. Um, the only one that you can't do right now is uh, Hajal and some of Black Temple. I'm working on the Black Temple one right now, but uh, you can only do it up until the Serpent Shrine, Tempest Keep, and Hajal, parts of it, um, but pretty much they just have you go and defeat each of these bosses in order to unlock the um, Black Temple attunement. So it's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty uh, easy. I'm working on the video right now. I'm almost to the point where I stop um, with that. But yeah, it's just making sure you're doing all those things. Um, just attunements are so, so important, and I would recommend knocking them out as soon as you can because I'm even noticing a drop off in people wanting to do heroics all the time. Our our LFG chat is actually pretty good. Tons of people are doing them, but at the same time, I can definitely see a decline from what it was in the first two weeks already. Um, then, as well, another thing that I want to mention is getting your professions going. Uh, TBC has such incredible gold costs right now. Um, so you, what you're going to want to do is make sure you're getting the professions you like, things you enjoy doing, getting those up there as soon as you possibly can. I have tailoring and enchanting. I've bought all the uh, rep enchants. I've gotten super lucky, and I got all three car enchants already. Um, I've been collecting my patterns as usual. Um, uh, you know, plus 12 defense to bracers doesn't want to drop, nor does 35 agility, but, you know, we'll get there. It'll drop, I believe. Um... <laughs> But yeah, just make sure you're doing professions because gold income is so, so big. Um, if you don't have professions, I would recommend uh, Gathering's actually doing really, really well right now. Um, but if you don't, if you have um, a main and you're going like enchanting tailoring because you're a caster like me um, and you want to do something else, fishing and cooking is actually super profitable too. And it's really easy to do. Uh, fishing actually takes a while to level in TBC. It's not anything like 1 to 300 was. Um, but you can make a lot of gold with that. And I look forward to uh, sort of getting some fishing videos going and sort of helping you guys out with that. Um, anyway, finally, um, the one thing that you can do at once you're level 70 is consider uh, epic riding. Flying in general is very important to get, so make sure you get that the second you hit 70. If you are a horde, you have to go here to Shadow Moon Village, um, and that is where you can learn it. I believe Alliance actually just have to go back to Honored Hold, and they can get Griffin training. I am not 100% on that. I have not tested that, but it is what um, some of my friends have told me. Um, but anyway, definitely get writing. Um, my thoughts on epic flying is if you're doing anything in the world, you're flying around, you're questing, you are gathering, you're doing anything that requires moving, then it is worth it. If you are not, don't buy it. I, I know I know that sounds weird, but you can survive on flight paths. You can survive doing everything. 
Um, it's not the end of the world, and I do think that that 5k gold can be put into um, gearing your guy, getting sort of those bis, especially if you're a caster, you need to get your spell cloth, your spell strike going. Um, it is so, so important that you do that. Um, I would definitely prio gear over this. Um, the only, only exception is if you're like mining, herbing, um, doing one of them or both. Um, it's definitely one of the biggest exceptions that I can think of. If you're not, um, you know, if you're not doing that, then it really isn't worth it, guys. I promise you. You can be just fine taking the flight masters and going everywhere you need to. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it for this video. That's everything that I think uh, you should do once you hit 70. Big focus on doing your heroics for rep, getting that gear, making sure you're ready to tune, getting ready for those, um, and then, you know, sort of making gold, getting your bisses. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching it truly means a lot to me if you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video please 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 share it with them it helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what i love every single day and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that i can so finally thank you so much and i hope you have a fantastic day goodbye